today. I have here with me Master in Memory, joining me all the way from Toronto, Canada. We're going to talk about her brand new book, Mysteries in Color. You definitely want to check this out and see how an artist use her own art, you know, to give inspiration to people of all walks of life. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be great. Resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, hi, Marcelin. Good to see you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me, Sergio. And it's lovely to have this chat again with you. Absolutely. Great that you said again, because you've been here before with us. And last time that you joined us, you were in your studio. Mm -hmm. You shared some of the work that you were doing there uh, yeah. as well. And uh, we talk about the, the Small World Sisters Challenge and all these things that you were doing. And that's kind of how we got to know each other through the mm -hmm. Art Next Level and your work. And uh, it's just been really fun to uh, see you evolve as an artist over the years. And now when you uh, send me a message, say, hey, so you got this new book that's called Mysteries in Color, an art workbook for practicing mindfulness through creativity. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. You know, your idea behind this awesome book and how you as an artist, you know, figured out, I want to create a book that uses my art as a channel to help people, you know, find mindfulness and creativity. And they don't have to be artists themselves, but you know they can use this as a tool as a channel really so let's start there but before we uh before we talk about specifically about the book for our friends who maybe missed that first episode that you had with us tell us a little bit about yourself as an artist where you are in the world and what kind of art you make so i'm um, i'm a native of mumbai bombay india and um immigrated here a few years ago actually quite a few years ago i would say 94 <laughs> okay. and toronto has been home since um and i live here now um i have two grown-up kids who are now adults which gives me a lot of time to keep creating <laughs> and of course um adding to my paintings now there's a book very exciting so uh, tell our friends what kind of art you make how would you describe your artwork um, I'm basically a mixed media artist at the moment. Um, I started off with realism because I used to love faces and I used to take photographs and, and recreate them. And I felt that the skill was there now, but I needed to expand my creativity. Okay. I needed to kind of go beyond the obvious. So I started working with um, a lot of mixed medium, started with inks and acrylics, and it's just taken on from there. And now I just love being a mixed media artist. However, it's not completely abstract. I do enjoy having some sort of a figurative form in it. Um, yeah, so that's basically my practice. That's exciting. That's exciting. And uh, at some point, uh, as you were working with your art and your own, you know, practicing mindfulness, uh, this idea of the book, My Mysteries in Color, came about, which is volume one. So we expect to see more volumes, right? I love yes. that it says volume one. I love it. Uh, so tell me how this idea came about. So basically the ink blots, as you see in the book, it's really my own practice. It's the way I start my work. And I start with an ink blot on a canvas. And then I start teasing out the forms that organically come up for me. Now, whilst I have some sort of an intent when I'm creating my own collections and I would say, okay, it's gonna be a body of horses or it's a body of women. Um, I would find that people would stand in front of my artworks and take a look and say, do you remember, do you see a bird over here? Or do you see, a, I don't know, a boat or an eagle or something like that? And I haven't actually created that. And it was fascinating to see what came up for these individuals who would stand in front of my artwork and kind of identify these forms that I obviously didn't put there. And so I realized that this is nice. People are getting engaged with this kind of form of art. They are beginning to kind of get focused and get absorbed in that certain way of painting. Um, and I started kind of that idea started germinating to see what if I gave them their own tools to create what they saw, which I haven't created in my own work. And that's how this came about. And also there was that rage of um, the adult coloring books. But to me, that was very limiting because there were lines to color within or there was a form. 
So apart from being creative with the color palette that you used, Mm -hmm. there was nothing else. Mm. And then I realized if they were engaging so much with this ink plot way of my art practice, then this is something that they could create for themselves. And that's how the book came about. Very good, very good. So uh, the way the the book is laid out, which I love it, uh, it all starts first with a really nice introduction about mm-hmm. uh, you and how igniting your creativity and also, uh, you know, you introduce yourself and then you give us also specific instructions on how we can use the book, you know, guide us through. So it's not, here's a book of pictures and then you just look at them and that's it. But, you know, you give us like some specific guidelines which help us, you know, let's get started, right? How to use yeah. it, how to get the best of it. And each page uh, has uh, either a blank sheet or your artwork on the side. Uh, so tell me about this idea. And, and, and for our friends who are watching, you know, what do you expect people to do, you know, with a, you know, with a blank page? So first of all, Sergio, as you notice, the 24, it's, it's a 68 page book. Mm-hmm. But the initial, like I said, it's more than just an art or a coloring book. I, I wouldn't even call it a coloring book. Right. It's really an art workbook to practice mindfulness. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, the last few pages, the 24 ink plots have perforation. So you can actually tear out the pages and take it with you. I love that. Um, they, they have a score in the in the side. So you yeah. know, you're out, like comes out really nice and square. Yeah. yeah. And because it is based on pareidolia, which is really this, this need or this um, psychological phenomenon where we tend to see these mm-hmm. random shapes and objects and visuals, you know, like the cloud formation. So mm-hmm. I've given a few um, examples on what pareidolia is. And the reason the pages are blank at the back is because you can then actually even frame this page. Mm, okay. uh, it can become your own piece of artwork. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people who bought the book have loved that they can journal free thoughts at the back. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that because you can frame it, I have left the back blank. Empty. That's right. So that, you know, it becomes your own piece of art. And mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people have felt that the negative space around is great for them to create their visuals or do some lettering and then, you mm-hmm. know, tie it in with the ink plot. So that was the reasoning behind I love the- it. And, and I think it also helps you focus on one thing at a time, particularly yeah. in a book of mindfulness. You don't want it to be about exactly. distractions, right? It's yes. all this information about mindfulness, but it's about the practice of mindfulness. Exactly. So having us just focus on this one image isolated mm-hmm. from anything else, there's no text of any kind. Then we, we are able to really look at this, as you said, you know, almost like when you're looking at the clouds or something becomes something in your mind and have it there. And what I love too is that at the beginning of the book, you have a, like here an example uh, right. for particularly for people who think themselves, well, I'm not creative, right? Oh, mm-hmm. I, I have no creativity in me. You know, this kind of gets them started to say, well, maybe this is something that I could do. So I would love to hear how now that the book is out and it's been out for a while. And by the way, thank you so much for sending me this beautiful copy, which it has a really nice feel to, to yes. the cover. Uh, yeah. Good choice for that. Again, the whole the whole book speaks in mindfulness, even the way you touch it and you feel it. So uh, tell our friends, you know, some of the stories that you have heard, how, how people are actually in the practical world using mysteries in color. So uh, we've got actually two uh, components to the book. One is for people who feel that they just aren't creative. And to them, I would say, if you can hold a pencil and draw a stick figure, the book is for you. <laughs> The book is not about artistry or the skill or, or you know, a competing with a professional artist or a, or a camera. This is really your page. It's your practice. What you see, it's your perspective. Mm-hmm. Um, so what people have done is now when they walk out, especially if it's, you know, who are not in the corporate world and they feel that they are a lot more mindful and observant. So some of them have actually torn out a sheet and walked off when they're walking their dogs or they are just sitting by the beach with their friends or they take a blue, as you can see, the ink blots are a different palette. So they've taken certain palettes if they're in a certain environment and they've just grabbed some lead pencils and created and they felt, you know, if I just slow down my brain, Mm -hmm. it has really helped. If I'm, if I'm say in my backyard with a glass of wine Mm -hmm. and I've just got some color pencils or crayons and I'm like, this does look like a floral to me, or this looks like a cup, or this looks like a tea bag. It, it, nothing is off the table. It could be anything. 
Um, from the corporate side, what we've started doing, and that has done really well, Sergio, mm -hmm. only because we are looking at the corporate angle in a sense that one problem has so many solutions. Right. So what we do is we send out three ink blots to each participant and we have between 10 to 20. And we facilitate the workshop in the sense we tell them, okay, we're gonna work on this ink blot. So everyone has the same ink blot. And they just come up with the most brilliant observations because initially it's like, oh, I don't know what I'm seeing. I have no idea. And I thought, you know what, take the page, turn it around, there is no right or way, wrong way to look at it. Mm -hmm. Any which way is the right way. And just start defining. And then when they slow down their brain a little bit, and oh, I, this is what I see. And then they start creating it. And the two things that we ask them, the takeaway is when you're creating art, has your mind wandered? Have you been able to be focused and present? And they said, yes, mm. nothing else has entered. So because we did a a bit of studies and we found out that creating art, even if it's doodling for 45 minutes, just levels your cortisol levels. It just brings that down and you are in that flow, you're in that moment and you feel completely relaxed. And the other thing is seeing everyone's perspectives. Yeah. So embracing that other people can see a problem differently, but because they've shown that, yes, there is a way out, um, it's a little more um, engaging. They they tend to respect each other's opinions and it's right. just so much nicer. So yeah, these are the two main things that the book has done. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Master, for explaining, you know, both ways in which the book is being uh, used in the world today. Uh, one last question I have for you and then we'll, we'll um, kind of close our, our uh, time together um, because time goes by fast. But I wanted to really ask you because you are an artist uh, and now, you know, love the, your entrepreneurial aspect of, you know, envisioning an idea, carrying it through, you know, and to actually have that physical book that you can touch and you can see and all the details that come with it, you know, the cover, the layout, the, the score pages, so people can cut them out. You know, it has, it's a really uh, well thought out, uh, uh, work of art in itself, you know, how, how you put this together. <laughs> And now all the marketing aspects of it, right? One thing is just now I have a book, a box of books. Now, what do I do with them, right? Definitely. And then putting the marketing, getting it out to the world and finding ways to do it. So all these things are, are part that, uh, you know, is, is, is uh, also uh, perhaps challenge you in new ways as an artist. Tell me a little bit about that as an artist now, kind of being an author of this book and uh, taking that more entrepreneurial, uh, you know, role as an artist. Uh, how this has affected you as an artist or challenged you as an artist as well? Because there might be some of our friends here watching, and that's why I want to ask, who perhaps have an idea of something they want to do. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a book, maybe something else, maybe it's a project, and maybe they've been putting it back. They're afraid of of, of taking that leap of faith and, and looking for the resources that they need to put it together. And uh, so there may, maybe some words that, you know, how do you approach that that really help you get forward uh, can help some of our friends. I think, Sergio, the, the only thing, uh, the best advice I can do is uh, be authentic, like do something, create something if it is really aligned with your brand and who you are and what you enjoy doing. Like I said, the ink plots were my practice. It's exactly the way I started. So it will set you back in your own practice. I haven't really been in the studio and painted much. But again, because this book is also for artists where I have like, I haven't been there for three, four months now, at least consistently, yeah. because it's the marketing, it's the whole thing. Right, right. I, I take this page out and for me, it's like, okay, I don't want to have this creative block. I'm just going to pull out a page and continue working. So right. it is a labor of love. It does take a lot of time. It's been in the making for nearly three and a half, four years now. Wow. Uh, but if it is something you're passionate about, um, and like I said, it's something that really aligns with what you do. I mean, I wouldn't go creating a fashion brand because that's not me. Right. So if there's something that you want to create, even if it's bags or bookmarks or something that you that is part of your practice anyways, I would say go for it. Go for it. And it's but, a lot of work, but it's worth it. So three years in the making. So patience definitely, I think, is, a, is one of the key uh, components of, you know, waiting for it to be right, to be... Uh, uh, not not waiting in your chair for things to happen, but you're doing things for three years to uh, to lead to this uh, mm -hmm. until it you know if it really exists in the world the way you envision it. So, right. um, Masarin, we want to congratulate you on this. I'm super Thank excited you. for you. You know, here from uh, from a distance, knowing you from quite a 
quite a while now and uh, seeing all the things you're doing. I'm very proud of uh, of this book for you. And I was really excited when I came in the mail and I opened it and I touched it and it's like, oh, this is great. I showed it to my wife, you know, Dr. Diana Gomez, which she's all about mindfulness. And she's like, oh, this is beautiful. This is great. So she's very excited I know. I for you. I thought she would love it because she's yes. so much in that space that, uh, exactly. yeah. Exactly. No, this is great. So Marcin, I want to tell our friends, how can they find the book? Uh, where can they get it? Uh, or how can they, you know, also the holidays will be coming up soon. How they can get it and give it as uh, gifted to a friend. So um, first, you can follow me on Instagram because all uh, everything that I create and and share about everybody's experiences with it is all there. So you you get your um, dose of inspiration from there. Um, it's available on Amazon US, mm -hmm. Amazon Canada. It has its own website, Mysteries in Color, and all the links are in my link tree. Okay. Um, and yeah, and there is a QR code if you notice. So that takes you straight to. Uh, some YouTube videos, which will explain how to process uh, the book, mm -hmm. like how to go through the ink plots. Yeah, perfect. And what is the Instagram account? For this show it's, uh, it's my account to Mazreen Memon, or it is Mysteries in Color, and they're both linked. So Mysteries in Color, yeah, the yeah, super. Well, that's super easy. Mysteries in Color to my friends, uh, check it out if you have uh, somebody you might want to give this book this is, re is right there. So also you want to get it for yourself is right there as well available. So thank you so much Mastering, for your time. We want to wish you great of success in this uh, book, uh, volume one and maybe volume two and three and four as they might be coming up and more Not opportunities. Really. Fingers crossed. Yeah. More opportunities coming your way because of it. And uh, it's okay. You know, as an artist, if you need to take a break to do this work, because this is an extension of your art practice, mm -hmm. it's not a distraction, yeah, but yeah. I think it's an extension. We'll put you at the end of the day, will put your art in the hands of more people. And mm -hmm. that is super amazing. Uh, and that along the way, you're helping others to be more creative or uh, or being more mindful about themselves. So thank you for everything that you do. Thank you all our friends for watching today. Uh, do us a big favor and share this episode with all your friends. We will be very excited to do so. Put your comments below and Masterin will also, uh, you know, check those out as well. So thank you, Masterin. Thank you so much, Sergio. Have, Have a, a great day. day. Thank Bye. you. Bye, our friends. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.